Hey guys, this is Air Guns Raider. Uh, I'm going to feature this gun. This is my SEMA Sport SR16 E3 full metal uh, black short AEG air gun rifle. Uh, it's actually an airsoft rifle. So it's uh, converted into air gun for, for this purposes, guys. Uh, if you watch my video um, on Monster, this is air guns versus airsoft. So this is a continual series, guys. So if you, you if you watch that video, you know that this is my attempt to have an AKA uh, Barra 400E A air gun, AG air gun, electric air gun. So uh, this one, guys, uh, is um, it has a full it has crane stock. That is adjustable. Uh, the charging handle is metal. It will drop the uh, bolt, and it also has a uh, so uh, has a ambidextrous bolt catch release. But inside the bolt, there's a hop up, guys. Very important. It allows you to adjust for the trajectory of the bit of the BB, and uh, when you coincide that with the red dot in terms of uh, sighting. Uh, works pretty well, not too bad. So when you hit that bolt catch release, it's ambidextrous. It works on both sides of the gun. Um, those are the features. So it has a uh, full length, or, or at least barrel length quad rail, Picatinny quad, quad, uh, quad rail for toys and accessories. Uh, this is a foregrip, doesn't come with the gun guys. I added that on. It also has a mock suppressor. It doesn't come with the gun. I added that on, guys, uh, so that I could emulate the features of the 400E, the Barra 400E uh, AEG. So, guys, stay tuned with me. Uh, we're going to do some uh, power testing. We're going to do some accuracy testing. And we're probably going to try to do some chronos with this. So, uh, stay tuned. So guys, I want to talk about uh, these speed loaders, guys. This is a six millimeter air gun, uh, I mean, airsoft BB speed loader. Uh, you can buy them. Uh, I happen to get them when I order. Uh, some of the guns come with them, not all, um, but uh, I've had a couple of them. I don't have any problems, guys, with these uh, because like I told you, if you shake them in, there's a chamber, see a chamber there? That chamber drops the BBs. You can feed your feed your magazines uh, right here in the slot like that and push on and it works, guys. But so I'm gonna give you some examples, okay? So this here, these both are, are magazines that work with that particular uh, AEG rifle. See that feeds in there like that? So see how I'm feeding that through there? That's feeding the, the BBs through the magazine. Once it gets to the top, it stops, okay? So, yeah, so you have that. Uh, that's because it's full, so it's it's ready. It's done, it's ready to go. So that that's, uh, that's what you have. So it's full. This one here is the original magazine that comes with it. Okay, this here is what they call a mid-cap magazine, guys. This one only holds 30 rounds. It's a Banff magazine, but it feeds this gun and it works really well. This one, guys, here it comes with the gun. It's a high cap magazine. Uh, let me see, check for a minute. Okay, I'm back. So this one here is a 470 round magazine. Holds 470 these BBs, guys. I've had no feed issues with these guys. And I've been shooting for a couple hours now. And so uh, the difference between this one uh, is that it has a trap door. So you can open them up. And you can feed feed the BBs right through there. No, no problems, no issues. So you don't have to feed them through the hole. So that makes it very easy for this particular uh, air rifle. And so, you know, it's like I said to you guys, uh, if you're looking for specifics on trying to figure out, you know, what it is to get, for me, it had to fit the criteria of the things that I'm looking for uh, to try to match the bar of 400 
E as best I can because I don't, again, I don't know uh, all those particulars of the, of the bar, but this is what happened for me. So with this gun, guys, it came with a high cap magazine. You can see that that's a wheel on the bottom of it. And so what you have to do, guys, is once you get uh, your BBs loaded, you push that wheel up uh, as far as it can go. Don't over overdo it. And it will push the BBs up ready for feed. And so, like I said, I haven't had any issues with it. So I'm going to shoot the gun and see, uh, let you guys hear what it sounds like. Sounds like it's on semi. That's on semi. This is on full auto. That's the thing with uh, high cap magazines, guys. Make sure that wheel is up. We'll see if you can catch some of those coming out. You can hear them dropping. So, yeah, no feed issues, guys. No feed issues. Okay, guys, let's get a standard reading with the 2.3 grams. See how that goes. Okay guys, let's get some full uh, auto reading on the 0 0.23 uh, gram uh, plastic BBs. What the FPS is, uh, a single fire. So let's test it with the full auto. Okay guys, we're gonna try to do some power testing on this thing. Uh, this is a glass jar. We'll see if it, uh, or do any damage to it. Okay, we're gonna see if we can't do some power testing on the jar. Okay guys, that's with a single shot. So I'm assuming that it is gonna bust. I'm gonna go ahead and put a full auto uh, on it and we're gonna see how it goes. Guys, I'm standing about eight feet away. So let's see what happens. Okay guys, we're about eight feet away. We're gonna go ahead and put this on full auto. Let's see what it does. Okay guys, so that's what it did, eight feet away. You can see through that plastic. Yeah, it, it will do some damage, so. Uh, on to the next test. Okay guys, this is my standard wood box test I do with uh, air guns um, with 0.177 BBs. Uh, I usually do it uh, where you're close up. We'll just see if it does anything to this block. Okay guys, I'm gonna do some little single shot uh, semi uh, 
shooting. Okay, guys. Uh, this is the results of my uh, target shooting uh, with five uh, uh, five single shots and and uh, one uh, full auto burst. So this is the full auto burst, guys. So the groupings on that. And uh yeah, I'm 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 about eight feet away on that guy, so that's that's about what that is. Um this is the semi the, the five shots here guys. And that's what I got. I got a flyer at the top, guys, but that's just me and my aim. So that's it on that. Okay, guys, so this is me wrapping up uh, my first testing of my air gun, my new air gun AEG, aka not bar 400E, aka uh, air gun AEG on a budget. So, you know, guys, in conclusion of this, guys, I'm not dissatisfied. You know, actually, I'm very happy uh, with the results. Uh, I can see in the testing where there's some, some, some desire for some possible changes, guys. Uh, the good thing about AEGs, it depends on what you want to put into it. So, you know, the air software guys, they'll beef this thing up, you know, and I have intentions of maybe doing that. This, this, if I have a, any, any type of project gun guys, this is my project gun, uh, because the way it shoots, how it shoots, um, some of the changes that I could possibly do uh, to it. And I know it's, it's, it's capable of modifications, uh, no doubt. So if I had to do some changes and things, I would. It stands alone, not too bad. Uh, think about it, guys. BB guns are plinkers. Uh, you know, those projectiles coming out of this one at six millimeters, guys, I'm going to tell you would probably hurt. I, I, I know that they would because I know how they, they were... Uh, uh, looking when they came out of that gun, and uh, yeah, I, I believe that they would, they're 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 uh, powerful enough to do some damage, but I would uh, caution guys on using this uh, in any kind of way. Um, if you're shooting uh, people and things like that, I, I don't recommend you doing that. But uh, you know, you do that at your own risk. But I, I will tell you, it may have some practical applications. I, it's. I didn't have any problems with it. It performed well, no jams, uh, no problems with the feeding. Uh, you know, one thing about it, guys, with the airsoft guns, you can buy uh, magazines for these types of, of guns, so you can change them up. This one came with a, a high cap uh, magazine with the wheel. Uh, I had a mid cap, uh, guys, that was sent to me through uh, an Evic, uh, Evic, uh, or Evic. <laughs> A shopping deal and they they uh they threw a, a bamf uh magazine i think that was their one of their standard bamps and it fit in this and it performed well uh so i know you can buy other ones if you want to change that out and do that uh the steel bbs did not do any problem didn't have a problem uh i did uh plastic bbs through this and i did steel bbs through this and i still didn't have a, have one single uh drawback so yeah, you know, I happen to have now for myself an air gun AEG. Uh, no, no downfalls to anybody or, like I said, to Barra 400E. I, I, I plan on hopefully uh, one buying of one of those. I collect these guns, uh, but yeah, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I've got a monster, guys. It's a monster. I can take this thing. I can change it out. I can flip it. I could do a lot of different things to it if I want to, and we can go from there. So this was the first uh, testing of it, and uh, for me, it, it passed with flying colors. So, you know, I could be biased, of course, because it's mine. So, guys, and it just lets you know, you know, what, what, what would say you if you beefed this thing up and you changed out some things? But also, what would you say if you found a similar gun 
that you want to do some things to uh, for yourself. Because like I told you, there's some higher price guns, some guns with some internals in it that, that if you watch some of these airsoft or shooting these guns and stuff, you know uh, when you're a newbie, as they call them, and you know when you're your 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 version on the pro, uh, because those guys beef those guns up. And so I, I can see I can see potential for this one as well. So it just depends on how you want to approach it. So right now, guys, like I told you, so I'm going series. Uh, this is the first completion of of uh, the review of this uh, this uh, process and this uh, experiment that I wanted to do. Uh, guys, you you know if you. Uh, not subscribed to my channel please subscribe guys hit the like button uh share it if you like this video i would appreciate it thank you for watching my video and uh hip shot and and i we're 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 uh happy to have hosted you so guys if you know me and anything that i would have to say this is uh air guns raider this is hip shot and this is my budget air gun aeg SEMA Sport SR16 E3 and we are out. Uh, you know guys, you know, in doing this experiment, you know, I realized, you know, these DBs are, these DBs are some heavy BBs. Uh, uh, that that was a, a pretty good choice. Uh, you know, with the weight of the BBs uh, being so heavy, you could you can definitely plink with those. You can definitely do some some possible uh, other types of things. You know, you just uh, got to see as I go forward what's going to happen with them. But one of the things. Uh, I was coming back to to explain was you're looking at uh an electric uh AEG that is just this is just a base model so you know as long as it has the metal uh um, the metal um feed then you should be fine shouldn't have any problems with that size of a, a BB six millimeter BB, it's like nine grains, and uh, you could have a lot of lot of plinking fun and a lot of a lot of other things with that. So, also, uh, you have other choices other than the base models. So, and those those models, if you get one, like I I believe this one is, uh, they made it so it shit so it could be changed out and 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 um, add on and. And other things. You know, this is one of the things that I'm thinking that will what might happen with the way uh, Barra introduced the uh, its 400e is that you know it could change change uh, some of the things that you do. I know it's got my mind going because I've got a I've got another uh, thought in mind about one of these, but I'll save that for another another raid and another pickup on another gun but i'm i'm talking about with these same bbs so you'll see that one when it when it comes out but um other than that guys i think it was a good choice uh something to try just something not out there this is not uh airsoft versus air guns uh they're different things of course but you know i'm talking to the purist who understand you know that i'm an air gunner you know that's that's what we do and I'm talking about yourself, you know, but, but sometimes a variety, you know, adds some spice to life. So that's what this one has done. It, it's added something to, uh, to what I, uh, you know, I call, uh, doing this thing called air gunning. So you can try it if you want to. And if you do guys leave, leave a comment down below, let me know. I would love to hear from you and, and I would love to hear your thoughts. So for that time, now I am out. Take it easy. Have a good day.